Hello! And welcome back to Belmont Bunch. Uh, this is a tough one today, uh, because, I mean, the most optimistic Islander fan in the world has to give up at this point. That's not me, by the way. <laughs> I'm not the most optimistic Islander fan in the world. Uh, the Islanders lose in a shootout. Um, frustrating game. Good kind of microcosm of the season. Uh, let's talk about it. First period, uh, Islanders go down. Again, kind of playing soft in their own zone, and Josh Bailey loses a net front battle. <clears throat> it, it battle, if you could call it that. Uh, Anthony Mantha uh, pokes it home, and like no help. For Varley from Josh Bailey there. Josh Bailey would redeem himself, uh, in this game at least, uh, in the second period. So, first, we have uh, the fact that the Islanders in the second period, I thought, played really well. They skated really, like, probably the most free-flowing uh, attack they've had in a while. Um, maybe that's because the Caps... There's this weird thing where the Islanders seem to play the Caps the last couple years. Not as much this year, because they had shut the Islanders out three out of four times this year. Um, where the Isles and Caps played these really high-scoring games, even though the Islanders aren't an offensive dynamo by any means. Um, there's something about the Caps. They're just, I guess, they've been loose in their own zone the last couple of years. They're getting older. Uh, they're not very impressive, I'm going to be honest. Um, which, you know, obviously, same could be said of the Islanders. Um, this year, Brock Nelson uh, got the goal that put us uh, into a tie. Uh, shot from the point. And Anders Lee uh, giving some trouble in front. Uh, it gets challenged. A rebound gets poked into the empty net by Brock Nelson. Uh, it gets challenged. Pretty bad challenge uh, because I, Anders Lee, he whacked uh, with the stick thinking there was a rebound. But it looks more like Vanacek, who saw you know Nelson with the puck, started to get up and then fell. Uh, so pretty bad challenge there. Only power play of the game came off of that failed challenge, which is funny. Um, so the Islanders tie it there. Uh, Matt Barzell would take a, uh, a shoulder stick to the chin, started bleeding profusely at one point. He had a really bad giveaway in his uh, in the offensive zone at one point where he tried kind of a little loop around pass and no one was there and it got sprung the other way. Uh, second period was really open. And it was funny because as a fan... You know, that was fun to see. The Islanders don't do that very often, but I'm sure Barry was trying to batten down the hatches. Um, but the Islanders did take the lead before they did They did that. Um, it was a three-on-two going into the zone. It dropped past to Josh Bailey. Josh Bailey just this filthy stick handling and then puts it right onto the stick of Kyle Palmieri. He's hot. Uh, scores his 10th of the year. Uh, Josh Bailey, trade value through the roof. Uh, to Arizona. So, uh, Josh Bailey, thanks for coming out. Uh, made up for the kind of weak play on the first goal. Um, he's been showing, a, like, bits and pieces of what he used to be um, these, I guess, the last week or so. But, look, that's not enough to make up for the season. And he's getting older, and the cap hit is just not in balance with the production. So, you know, I, I know the last week has been fun for Josh Bailey fans, but let's uh, let's get ready for that trade. Maybe in the offseason, but anyway. Uh, so the Islanders go into the third, uh, up 3-2. Uh, so, nope, 2-1. Uh, and, of course, they give a guy his first career goal. Uh, Janssen Fialbi. Fialbi. Uh, Axel is his first name. Incredible name. Uh, I used to go to a lot of Hershey Bears games, so I still follow them. And uh, I know that he's been pretty good down there. Gets his first. Uh, it's a two-on-one that should have been a two-on-two, -two, but Anders Lee just gets freaking walked. Walked. Embarrassing. Uh, and though I would eat my words again on Anders Lee's offensive production, again, I... I will not back away from the fact that he cannot skate. Uh, he He's skating backwards, and the slightest move, and he's gone. He's completely out of the picture. Ryan Polk is the only one left back 
two on one, slammed home, tied. The Islanders just stopped skating in the third period. Uh, case in point, there was a play where the puck was coming back to the point. Scott Mayfield misses it and then gets caught kind of skating a little bit slowly back to it and gets beat to it. A chance the other way for the Capitals out of that. Uh, there was also, uh, oh, I should mention that the Caps had scored a goal earlier that got disallowed. Um, it was the right call. Barry bailed out Sezikis, and Sezikis, with a bad giveaway right on the edge of his own zone, got bailed out, but they just it can't happen. It needs to be better, and the fourth line has just not been that good this year. And, uh, yeah, that is alarming, you know, because they just paid two of them. And the third one, hopefully they get something back for him at the deadline. The good thing about this game is I think it should solidify that they have to be sellers. Varley, Clutter, Bailey might be now or in the summer. Um, Varley played great tonight. Uh, Varley did all that he could. Um, maybe th- knowing maybe knowing that he had one, only one more game with the Islanders, he looked like he had everything out there tonight. Um, the goal is really not on him. Um, as the Islanders continued to get pressed, uh, they iced the puck. They weren't moving their feet, like I said. And right off of a faceoff, Ovi scores to go ahead of Yager in the goal list. And that was the most, you know, it's funny. It's been such a frustrating year. And there's a lot of goals that I could have said that's the one that, like, broke me. That one, for some reason, I probably because it's an elongated celebration because Ovi, uh, you know, is passing another great on the all-time list. But you just had a, you had time to marinate in it as an Islander fan and just be like, that's it. That's, uh, that's the goal that ends the year. And kind of, you know, I tweeted out, and I ended up being wrong because of Anders Lee, but... Um, I mean, really, that did end the year because, at minimum, it needed to be a regulation win tonight. At minimum, uh, you know, I, I saw some people talking about how the Islanders should pull their goalie uh, if the game is tied in the last couple minutes. I I completely understand that makes sense in terms of that, uh, but I just don't think it's in uh, the team DNA or uh, Trotz's DNA to lose a game in regulation because of that because they left the empty net i don't know it doesn't make any sense the season's over it realistically it was over coming in so maybe that's what trots was thinking anyway in the last minute they pulled the goalie of course josh bailey gets out there uh at least he earned it a little bit more today but josh bailey always out there as the extra guy it's like oh good he'll score let's we have a six on five we're gonna add a player that never scores uh anyway but they do score uh a point shot off, you know, some some methodical slow passing from the top of the uh, the the point, uh, or top uh, towards the end of the blue line, offensive zone blue line. Uh, Nelson throws it back to Dobson. Dobson just rips it on net. Anders Lee on the rebound. Nobody on him. It's like if there's anybody, like that's the one. Like that's Anders Lee's place. But hey, not complaining. Anders Lee, 22 goals now. Um, you know. It's 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 annoying as a fan who likes well-rounded players because he's like just standing there, taps one in, and I get triggered and I'm like skate, <laughs> but he doesn't. Uh, so anyway, we go to OT. OT's really bad. A lot of chances for the Caps. Uh, Varley just standing on his head uh, twice on uh, Kuznetsov, who walked I- Islander defenders players. Um, the Isles. Just terrible pass regulation this year. Not great in regulation. Terrible pass it. Uh, they go to a shootout. It goes seven or eight round, eight rounds. Uh, not very impressive from the Islanders. Uh, Varley gave them like five different chances to be like, we hit and we win. We hit and we win. And we win. No, never. Um, at least I, I'll give it to Barry for mixing it up tonight and getting uh, Wally a chance. Wally had a good shot, good save by... Uh, Van, uh, Vanacek. Um, they just, they didn't win. They, they did what they do this year. Be mediocre. Incarnate. So, it was an interesting game as an Islander fan as I start to, you know, get into bracket mode and figuring out who I think are, like, for real NHL teams. The Caps are not really one of them. Um, this is not like a salty, we lost to them thing. This is a they just don't impress me much. You know, the 
if the Islanders can skate with you, that's not good because the Islanders don't. They just haven't skated that well this year. Skated well in the second period tonight. Awful in the third. And then very bad in OT. So that second period was so encouraging, though, that it almost made me forget how bad the whole year has been. And then the third period happened, and I remembered. So that's it from Belmont Bunch. Another happy episode in the books. The rest of these games are going to be legitimately really hard. It's really hard to psych myself up to do a video knowing they're done. It's the first time I've had to on my channel. Uh, so we'll see what I got. It's the end of the year. James is going to be watching. He's going to be like, gross, not, do not, not enough. Not enough. You're sitting next game. Get your brother or Winston to do the next video. So I got to keep, I got to keep showing up anyway. Oh, and it was my birthday. So they lost on my birthday. Um, sad question mark link in the description for the audio version of this good night